Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which prints reverse string after removing vowels. First, let us take some examples. Note that we have to remove the characters from the reverse string where there are vowels in the original string. For input Geeks for Geeks, output is S E G R F S E G. We first reverse the input string and remove characters from indexes 1, 2, 6, 9, and 10, where there are vowels in the original string. Next, let us see the approach. A simple solution is to first reverse the string, then traverse the reverse string and remove vowels. An efficient solution is to do both tasks in one traversal. We create an empty string R and traverse the original string S and assign the value to the string R. Then we check whether at that index the original string contains a consonant or not. If yes, then we print the element at that index from string R. Next, let us see the algorithm. We take a sample string geeks and pass it to replace original function with its length. Next, we initialize an empty string r of length n. Now, we traverse through all the characters of the string one by one and assign value to string r from last index of string s. So first i will be 0 and s at n minus 1 minus i is s. We set r at i equal to s of n minus 1 minus i. So r at i will be s. Now we check if s of i is a consonant as it is not a vowel we print r of i that is s we continue in iteration in the for loop and now i becomes 1 s at n minus 1 minus i is k and r of i will be k since s at i a vowel we don't print r of i we continue with the for loop and now i will be 2 s at n minus 1 minus i is e and r of i is also e. Since s of i a vowel, we don't print r of i. So now i will become 3. s at n minus 1 minus i is e and r of i will also be e. Since s of i not a vowel, we print r of i that is e. Now i will be 4 s at n minus 1 minus i is g and r of i will also be g. Since s of i not a vowel, the if condition gets satisfied and we print r of i that is g. We finish iteration in the for loop and we have the final output. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, Please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.